this guy have anything new to say? <laughs> nope. Bye. Anyone else think this guy's like just a little bit extra? What a drama queen. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I wasn't able to knock that one out. There we go. Gravebird bracelets. All right, we have two parts of the Gravebird set now. Stone bracelets with a tinge of green, one of the set of armor pieces. Gravebirds are ancient golems created to guard the spirit graves. Yep, yeah, we already knew that. So these graves, uh, from what I'm understanding is, these graves have been here for so long that they themselves have turned into ghosts, right? Like that's kind of what the lore was saying. Like the the spirit gravestone or whatever, like at, over time, the oldest graves themselves will fade away. That is kind of neat. Go up here. I'm hearing the sound of a dragon. Oh, it's not a dragon, it was just a bird. Easy mistake to make. This game's very pretty. This is very pretty. Look at these clear size the skies. Look at the scatoo tree. Look at the ghost flame about to kill me because I wasn't paying attention. Oh! This weapon is very cool, and getting 47,000 smithing stones is also incredibly based. Was there a cave right here? Was I understanding what I just looked at? It was not a cave. Okay, it was just bad stuff. Good to know. What did I put? Oh. I somehow managed to put that on top of the dragon. Interesting. There's a path down there with a mesmer encampment. That's a golem. That's a furnace golem. So that must have been the area we went to before we didn't have the map for. I'm curious about Mikola. <laughs> I'm curious about Mikola. I want to know if Mikola is alive or dead. I thought he was dead. I thought he was in the cocoon. But maybe he's not. Maybe the cocoon was for someone else. I don't know. Maybe he hatched and molted. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> not me. I don't know what a Mikola's, uh, I don't know what Mikola's birthing cycle is like. Didn't expect dragon. Well, sorry, dude. Get used to it, bud. Okay, well, tower time, I guess. Uh, is there anything cool back here? Any caves or anything? The vistas here are really impressive. I really like all this. All right, let's uh, move forward, I guess. So what are these? Suppressing pillar. Try down, treasure chest ahead, no down ahead. Okay, 
good to know. My old ass man. He looks cool. My fashion souls is good. My Elden bling. Very solid. I'm all matching. Ancient dragon smithing stone. Another one? Yeesh. Behold bliss. Jesus Christ. How big is this DLC? What? Oh, look at that green forested area. Am I going to get my dream of actually being able to go through like a pretty lush environment in Elden Ring? Oh man, that's exciting. But also, holy crap. Look how absolutely gigantic this place is. What is going on? The very center of the lands between all manner of death wash up here only to be su suppressed. What? The very center of the lands between. All manners of death wash up here only to be suppressed. So this is the lands between? Oh! This is the realm of shadow. Right here. Yeah, this is the realm of shadow, the very center of the lands between. I get it. So it's the island here. It's just bigger. <laughs> Possibly. I, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this map is like not to scale, quote unquote. I guess if it's the size of Limgrave, right? That's roughly... I guess this is a little bit smaller. It's about the size of the Weeping Peninsula, but... I can suspend my disbelief a little bit and say that this map is... is the, the continent in the middle there. Guys, this is cool as hell. Let's look around. So that's some kind of crater, maybe, or volcano... So this area is all kind of dead. It looks like the deep root depths, actually. That's the... That's like a castle area that goes up into the sky, maybe? Is that what that is? And then, obviously, the Skadu tree. I know I'm taking my sweet-ass time. Sorry. Sorry. I know you, got, you all probably want to see the content, but I'm just taking it in. This is nuts. Keep seeing the gnarled trees in the corner of the screen think it's a dragon. You know, man, it very well could be. It, there could be stuff like that going on in the game where we get up close and then it turns out a dragon's going to burrow its way out of the, uh, out of the earth. Um, okay. A three path cross. I'm really excited all of a sudden. Okay, so hold on, let's look. That's Castle Ensis then. So this is Castle Ensis and yeah, and it leads up to this side of the plateau which seems 
to terminate right there. There's like a monastery maybe. Looks like there are quite a few big enemies over there, but this plateau seems relatively self-contained. This place heads up this way and I think possibly connects to up there to the like Greco-Roman looking spot over there. I'm just trying to like process the map, right? Like maybe you connect through here. There's also, yeah. Well, no, probably not. So what do we think? What are we thinking for my next path? I guess I can go back down here to this area and go up this way. That might actually be a fun plan. And just explore down here. Try to get the map of this northern area just to see what the heck is going on. Because that's what that looks like to me. Um... But what do you think? Do you should we go there? Azri says, "Oh, hey, Azri, welcome." Actually, interesting. If the island used to be at the center of the lands between, then Faramazula would align with the Dragon Mountain. That's true. It would, because like if it is here, right? Faramazula is over here, right? No, this is the Halig Tree. No, this is Ferrum Azula. Okay, so this is Ferrum Azula. Ferrum Azula, geographically speaking, probably was somewhere over here or over here, connecting all of these areas bestially. So if you think about it, if it did loop up here, it would explain the influence. Maybe this was one larger continent at one point. That's actually a really good point. So if this is the land of shadow. Yeah, and then look, there's like that same color on the map. It's that like pink, gray, and red. Look at this in the orange trees right here. Now we go back over here, uh, go over here. Look at this. This might be Faramazula. This might be parts of Faramazula. Same with over here. Over here. Look at this. I think Azri's onto something. It's just a theory, working theory for now, but like. That's smart. That's a smart pull. That's really clever. All right, where do we where do we want to go? Do we want to go uh, the floating castle to? Yeah, very possible. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna put a skeleton here because I think that's where I think there's a boss up there, right? So do we want to go to the skeleton or do we want to do Castle Ensis? Castle Ensis gets us access to this area over here which has like this maybe church or prison castle of some kind, that monastery maybe. I can't tell if it's connected to up there or not. It doesn't look like it shares a landmass. To me, at least. Or do we wanna go over here where it's like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's I uh, chat vote now are we gonna go left or right West Castle finish finding the rune things and see if that opens anything up that makes that makes sense okay let's go over here Pet word says right. Pet word got outvoted, so I guess we're going left. <laughs> if we get blown up, we'll go we'll go right and it's fine. Mm -hmm. 
they're still over there. Okay, interesting. All right, um, let's do it. Because I, th I don't think we really have much left to do other than investigate down here, which could be really worthwhile, but I don't know if I want to do it yet. Because this place is so self-contained, it seems. Oh, there's people. Oopsie. Who are they all praying to? I'm gonna, if we hear even a single word about the Glomide Queen, I'm gonna, my brain is going to explode. I'm gonna be so excited. I'm just warning everyone in advance if that happens because it could be legit crazy. My, my lore brain would light on fire. Ooh, it's like over here, hidden spot maybe? Huh. Bonk. Anything good over here? No. I wonder if this is where all the tarnished went. I'm gonna walk up here and you're not gonna be able to go inside and I'm gonna have to just turn around. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if that's what happens. It's gonna be very funny. Oh, hey, look, it's a guy. Scattered tree fragment and it's another person. F Fortnite, thank you. Carved words coalesce, I abandon here a part of the flesh of my body. You must be the tarnished. I am Ansbach. Formerly in service to Lord Moog, but now, like you, another soul guided by kindly Mikola. I'm hardly the steady hand I once was. My fighting days are far behind me, which is why I have chosen to dedicate myself to investigation. To discern Tender Mikola's ultimate purpose. Tender Mikola? I'd rather not volunteer service to a new master unless I know that I can be of use. May I request a service of you? Six crosses identical to this one have been discovered in these lands. They are akin to Tender Mikola's footprints or gravestones which mark what he's left behind. If you discover any more crosses, be certain to tell me. I presume you, too, are keen to know just what kind Mikola is doing here. I like his voice a lot. If you discover any certain, I presume you just what... He's got a really nice voice. Hello there. Together, we work together for Mikola the kind. Many things we have found. Purchase. Sealed Spirit Springs. Note found by the Forager Brood. Contains information about seals. All right. Yeah, we'll buy that. Why not? Sanguine Amaryllis. Grown by blood fiends and pools of blood. Perhaps even fiends admire blood's beauty. The effect of the Forager Brood's pickled delights are enhanced by the fermentation or rotting of the ingredients. Though this results in a pungent odor, some come to find, uh, come fi come to find the aroma uh, irresistible. Interesting. Well pickled turtleneck. Okay. Oh, talk to more. I like finding things for you, Lady Leda, her allies, and the forager brute. Things bring joy to all. This guy is very sweet. I 
Mm. I like finding things for you. Things. Okay. Um, thanks, bud. <laughs> okay, dude. Uh, yeah. Totally. I am 100% on the same page, actually. What a sweet little boy. This guy seems, um... Delicate. Is perhaps the right way to phrase this. I'm nervous for him. <laughs> this is what I was, uh, what I'm saying is that I'm nervous for him. I'm just selling duplicate armor pieces. Narratively likely to die horribly. I agree. That is, in fact, what I was getting at. Uh, sorry, this is going to be boring. I'm just selling armor pieces because I want to keep my inventory organized. <laughs> I don't remember what then the ones I picked up that I wanted to sell. Mesmer Soldier Gauntlets, okay. Okay, we only have some common. Why do I have two pairs of bandit boots? Why do I have two pairs of Nox Greaves? Are they the same? Let's look. They're the same. Many things. Oh, I thought I got really nervous for a second. I was like, oh my god, he sells ancient somber stones? No way. Not true, though. Um, he doesn't. Sorry, I'm just counting. I really like all of these mesmer items because they're um Goodbye. They're really plain. <laughs> That's what I like about them. Imagine if I just walked right past the side of Grace and just completely forgot to light it. Could you could you believe that? It would, uh, that happening to me, that would be such a shocker. I would never, I would never walk by a grace without interacting with it. I was hoping that selling stuff to him would um, give him more dialogue, but he doesn't seem to have more dialogue. Wasn't he mentioned in an item description a minute ago? Should you chance upon a sealed spirit spring, look for a stack of stones nearby. By toppling them, you may breathe through steel. Oh! Oh, that explains some stuff. Blood stains. Let there be good luck. Likely death in short. Let there be good fortune. All right. Can I say that at 1.5 times speed? What are you talking about? Uh... That spirit stones, if there's a sealed spirit spring, maybe knock down some rocks near it. Well, the item I went by. Oh, yeah, sorry. Should you chance upon a sealed spirit spring, look for stacked stones nearby. By toppling them, you may break the seal. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I didn't. Um, I'm in the zone and I just I read really quickly so you all read really quickly now that's that's the rules that's how streaming works <laughs> sorry uh huh
Let's see. I'm very excited about everything that I'm seeing right now. You just love to see this. She's having a pensive moment. And then she just... Nope. Just yeeted. Ghosts add such an element to this game of just a, a pure comedy. Every single one tells a story. All right. Oh, hey, it's like the Elden John statues. It's like the, the Elden John statues um, that have the, the things on them. There's gonna be an enemy here, I understand, I see. Oh. It's like an Astol, but a scorpion. I have um, like a pretty deep seated fear of scorpions just to let everyone know like that's like a thing that I deal with because I don't like them very much. I hate them even more than I hate spiders. So great for me. <laughs> I was expecting that to be a much longer fight. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. Guys, I made me this made me laugh. <laughs> Soldiers who joined the crusade were rewarded with grace of plenty. Okay, we already had that one. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for a really specific item. Um, let me find it. Where was it? I thought we got it before this. Uh, where is it? It's in it's, it's in my talismans. Also, I need to use my. Oh, I don't have enough scatter tree yet. Uh, that's fine. I'll just go to my talismans because I think it's in the talisman spot. <laughs> that was very funny. Uh, <laughs> this is really funny. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be stupid. It's just I don't even know what time it is. We've been playing Elden Ring for six and a half hours this dlc and i've been in a euphoric state of joy the entire time and that was just very funny to me personally it's just a very funny moment um are they usable items where was it we have a seal of the fell god somewhere that has a picture of the fell god on it i just don't know where it is Uh, yeah, I don't know where it went. Uh, Rishan said, isn't the fell god thought to be a scorpion? I don't know. I have no idea. That's information that I don't have. In my head, the fell god is the god of fire, is the god worshipped by giants. When I think of him, I think of the face on giant torsos, not the omen, because my brain is damaged and I can't remember things. So there we go. Furnace visage. Yeah. So I don't know. That doesn't look like a scorpion to me. But it is what it is. It's, it's a crafting material. That's weird. Oh, hey, there's stuff in there. Try target lock. Okay. Okay. I see. Oh. oh, come on, FromSoft. 
You're gonna re you're gonna Duke's Deer Freya me? I'm totally like I don't like spiders in real life. They terrify me, but like I was fine. I'm fine with spider enemies, but you gotta give me scorpions, really? Come on. Lock-on is acting very bizarre. Uh, this might be a good rune farming location for some people. I gave a pretty solid amount of runes. I would like... I need to be equipped better. I'm sorry. I'm I need to I need to manage this. What am I doing? Uh it's stupid that I didn't do this before. Okay. Um I didn't realize round rock was in my usable items. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, so the things on threads are just regular. They're the same as the other scorpions. They're just on threads. So they can fall down on me. Revered spirit ash. Okay. So those are... Okay. <laughs> Shadow Realm Rune. I just don't like the skittering. I don't like skittering. Things that skitter should not, is my thought. Oh! Really don't like it still. Less scary than I expected, but still not a fan of them. Oh! Be wary of right. Mm, I hate these fucking sounds these things make. Ow. My damage isn't bad, which helps. Okay, something to my left. What is this place? Bellarat Tower Settlement. There is something over there, I can hear it. Am I able to open this? Does not open from this side. Okay. Oh, they were eating the body. I'm getting really excited about this DLC because it has environments that feel like Dark Souls environments. This music is sick. I'm gonna turn it up in my headphones a little. This is like the first back backing music that we've gotten that isn't like really ambient. I need more distance. There we go. Oh! Jump scare.
Man, I am getting so many smithing stones. Let me know if the game volume like needs to be turned up at all or anything like that. I think we balanced it a while ago and it, it's probably pretty good still, but let me know if you guys can't hear things or if the sound effects are too loud or whatever. Key required ahead. Let's check out what this is. Is this another omen shunning ground, maybe? Mesmer fire grease. I want to read that. Okay, that's locked. So yes, we did indeed need a uh, key. Fire was a symbol of the crusade and even Mesmer's rank and file soldiers wielded. it. Okay, we already had that description. Okay, so this is a shortcut. Okay. Oh, I can't backstab him. I feel like doing this DLC rune level one is probably hard. <laughs> Just a little bit. Mesmer fire grease handled. Thanks, game. Insightful. Who was casting at me? Someone down there. Oh! Getting so many smithing stones. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, there's a caster up there. Thank you for knocking me down. Why is the <laughs> the ghost humping is teabagging the ground? So this is a perfumer's area for sure. Look at this. It's like all the herbs and stuff. 
A perfumer build could be really neat. I'm really interested in that. I don't quite understand how they scale. Let's actually look at this. I do want to look at some things. Let's look at some things. All right, so we got our Ash Blessing up. That's good. Um, let's Ash of War really quickly. I do need to upgrade that very badly. Uh, very, very badly. Um, let's see. Oh, I have two. No, Crucible Tree and Axe Armor are different. Okay. Um, um, oh, you know what? Maybe I was... Yeah, I wore the cape because I didn't like how the Moray Helm looked. That's why I did that. I guess I could try and, uh, I could wear a different hat, right? That doesn't match at all. That also doesn't match at all. Let's look. A lot of these aren't gonna match, are they? No. Even my, my beloved Great Helm doesn't match. God damn it. That's interesting. Uh, Elmer's face is so weird and so creepy. works kind of like that sorry we're fashion soulsing right now that actually looks interesting that actually matches pretty great uh huh this works really well actually i do i do kind of interestingly i like that the texture of that it's interesting Bogart's Helm also works just fine. What are we thinking? The Murray Helm with the cape probably still is the best. Or not the Murray Helm, the consort mask, I guess. That's also not terrible. Ugh, oh, EG's Helm, I wish it I wish it was better. I, it would be so good if it didn't flop out over an invisible cape that isn't there. That's not terrible. That's not terrible fashion souls. I guess I'll just put my, my old helm back on and we'll just put the cape back on this. Um... I was going to do something. Uh, Ashes of War. I wanted to investigate a little bit. Uh, okay, Ashes of War. Let's look at some of the new weapons. I want to see how these scale. I don't actually know the difference between flame and flame art. I guess flame is just physical with fire split, and that's what that is. Poison, blood, occult, cold, no. If I want to play around with this, this is probably the way to do it. I want to read the description of the Ash of War, not the... I don't know what Assassin's Gambit does. I'm just going to do a cult really quickly. Mass user present cost self-inflicted wound. Okay, that's what I thought. Hmm. 
Okay, so those can be infused with a cult. And they're okay. Let me... I want to read this. This might actually... The backhand weapons might actually be good. Uh, uh, poison weapons is one of the things I was thinking. Yeah, blind spot is fine. Poison build up on those could be neat. I can't do the smithing one, I don't think. The smithstone daggers. Oh, I can give these a weapon art? Interesting. Okay, interesting. Perfume bottles can only be granted standard affinity? You can't infuse them. They just do fire damage. That kind of makes them seem like they're going to be inherently weak unless there's just a bunch of the perfume bottles. Huh. I have a lot of thoughts about that. Yeah, so this has like a custom, right? Oh no, I can I can do lots of things on this. Impaling thrust, repeating thrust. You can do all sorts of stuff with these guys. Interesting. Blood tax. Poison moth flight. Okay, so these can be infused with everything basically except cold. Why not cold? I guess it's just because that is poison mist. Okay, I can infuse this with basically everything. All right. Let's look at like the different scaling types for it though. Forty four minus seventeen for physical attack. Why? Why do they have a negative attack multiplier? Am I reading that right? What? These weapons are so confounding. I don't get it. They have a negative bonus, probably because my deck sucks. I don't know. That's really interesting and weird, and I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know why that is the way that is. That's very interesting. Realistically, I think this would probably scale best with Keen. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Interesting weapon. Interesting weapon. Interesting weapon types. I'm curious about this. We'll have to look into them. I do think... Um, th these weapons have promise. This moveset has promise as like a poison status build moveset. Like, let's just like look at this really quickly. That built poison pretty quickly. So these these have like a pretty solid poison status synergy, I guess, is like the best way to describe that. But it's nothing that I'm going to use right now. I uh, we need to. We need to regroup after getting more of the new weapons so that I can more reasonably see what good scaling on them looks like. I'm very interested in this weapon. Because that weapon art seems oppressive. The curse blade, yeah. The Cirque. And I'm I am interested in Milady to my own chagrin. I I don't love the great katana. Why are you here? Go to go away, dude. What are you?
Yeah, so that's good. Yeah, this is a poise break weapon. That's all this is. That's crazy. And it deals bleed. I don't love great katanas, but that's pretty good. Oh, and you can Ichi Manji. <laughs> that's actually kind of fun. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Um, that's interesting. I those weapons I don't hate. I don't hate this weapon. Oh. Um, that's interesting. That's really neat. Great katanas might win me over a little bit. I might be won over a tiny, a minuscule, a tiny little baby amount by, by great katanas. Those are cool. Those are interesting weapons. They do a lot of poise damage. That is a lot of stagger. That's it's just I just think it's neat. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. They're just they're interesting to me. They're very weird. It's just a really weird. This move set. <laughs> See, that's my problem, though, right? Like. It's just so your animations are so twirly and and goofy that like you run into issues where you you miss the enemy because instead of just being a pragmatic weapon that you use it's like la 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 I'm swinging like a little ballerina I don't know man the, this is a weird weapon I don't I like the flash I think I think it's a little... I don't know, man. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you guys want me to say about the the, the light greatsword. I'm interested in it because I do... I do think... Oh my god. I do think that it is an interesting weapon because it's... It attacks quickly and I particularly like that L2 chain. And the L2 or the R2 into L1 is really solid. Um, this move. But I don't know if it deals enough poise damage. I think it's a little quirky. It's a kind of a quirky weapon. I don't know. I <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I like that weapon very much. Uh, I wish I did. I wish I liked it more than I do is how I feel about it right now. Um, is yeah that's how i feel about that weapon but these weapons are interesting and i could see myself playing i could see myself using these if i wanted to do a status build i don't know if i want to do a status build and i can't believe i'm saying it because i don't love katanas but I don't even I don't even want to infuse this weapon with a new weapon art because I think the Ichimanji is cool. Um, you have to you have to assume this would look sick. Hold on, let's see. Forty seven thousand weapon types later. It's very Saito from Kenshin. It's kind of neat. Multiplayer using great swords. You've changed. I've played multiplayer before. I don't know why you think I don't. I've used. I I do multiplayer all the time. Uh. But I'm not actually using great swords. I I just am looking at them. But the the great katana might actually have won me over a little bit. That's a very interesting weapon. I think that there is uh. Here we go, overhead stance. Let's look at the scaling on this thing. It's very weak, obviously, because I don't have it upgraded. But 
the poise damage on it is crazy. That's like better than most great swords. <laughs> it's like it's, that feels overtuned. Uh, but that's fine. I'm going back to using my uh, bloody Hellas because it's a cooler weapon. We'll see. We'll see how this this run develops. Cause I uh, I'm very intrigued. If we find a better light greatsword, then maybe I'll experiment with it to make you guys happy. 